Hey y'all, I'm Lisa and this is Our Gray House. I love collaborating with other DIY YouTubers and today I'm part of a playlist. I'll tell you more about the host in just a little bit and I'll also have a link to their channels as well as a link to the playlist in my description box. I wanted to show y'all a quick and simple way to make modern looking mini vases. I got these wooden rings from BB Craft who is sponsoring today's video. They were kind enough to send me some wood crafting supplies so I could create some fun things for my channel. I'll leave a link to BB Craft in the description box and don't forget y'all, use coupon code GRAY5 to save $5 off your $40 or more purchase. Now these wood rings can be used a lot of different ways, but today I'm just making these vases. All I'm doing is gluing the round wood rings together. I mean, it can't get any easier, y'all. Now what I didn't film was that I added a small cardboard circle to the bottom and then I spray painted them. And depending on the size rings you use, you really could make these just about any size. I'm currently using these on my mantle and I just added some dry flowers from Dollar Tree. I think they turned out really cute and would look great stained or even if like you left them their natural wood color. The playlist I mentioned earlier is hosted by Christy from Christy Creates. You may remember I recently recreated one of her projects. Be sure and check out her as well as this month's co-host, The Redheaded Scrapper. I appreciate them so much for letting me be a part of this playlist. I think Whitney from Whiskey and Wit makes the cutest signs. I'll link her video down below that I got inspo from, but she had found a sign at Hobby Lobby and I couldn't find the exact same one, so I used just one that I had on hand in my stash from Dollar Tree. I sanded off the glitter that was on the front of the sign. I eventually covered this with brown craft paper anyway, but the glitter just drives me nuts. I don't know why they put glitter on everything. Anyway, I painted what is the back with Rust-Oleum Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color charcoal and one good coat was all it needed. Whitney also had this free decal and it's available on a blog that is linked in her video description box, so be sure and check it out. Since my sign was a different size, I just scaled it down to the size that I needed, and then I cut it out using my Cricut. I wanted to place the decal slightly off center, and y'all know I don't measure anything, so I'm just kind of eyeballing it here and going with the flow. One thing that I didn't do was fill in the holes at the top of this sign. I'm still deciding if I want it as a layering piece or if I want to hang with you know, like hang it on something. So what do y'all think I should do? In that same video, Whitney found this house shaped sign at Hobby Lobby. I found the exact same sign at 75% off. So it was like the universe was telling me, Lisa, you need to make this sign. And as you can see on the left, I was trying to decide which color orange to use. And I first went with this terracotta chalk paint, but y'all, it felt way too dark. And despite it feeling dark, it wasn't covering up the wording on the sign very well. So anyway, I had to do a couple coats. And it just wasn't giving me the vibe I was looking for. So I went back in with a lighter color and that did the trick. Okay, I don't know, maybe that terracotta was like just like the base color or something, I don't know. But anyway, the, the lighter color ended up working a lot better. Now Whitney has a free SVG on her blog for this project as well, so I used that and cut out the decal with my Cricut. I tried to place it similar to her design and I burnished it down and then removed the transfer tape. I am so proud of how this one turned out, y'all. I also love the detailing on the sign itself, but certainly you could use a simpler house shape and get similar results. And this is how all three projects look together on my mantle. I think they turned out really well. Yes. 
Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I really had a lot of fun sharing my DIYs with y'all and I hope you enjoyed them too. And don't forget the link to the host channels as well as the playlist is going to be in my description box. The link to BB Craft is in my description box. So everything you need is down below. And if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life though. Because that's creepy. Bye!